Do online meetings make you sleepy, grumpy, cause headaches or nausea? You may be suffering from Zoom fatigue. The medicine you need is J Man Speaks. Let's go! This is Jeremiah's J Man Manero with J Man Speak. J Man to the rescue! There's no sleeping in this Zoom. Edutainment. High energy. Yahoo! Wake up. Wake up. Your head's gonna explode. Ooh. Yeah! Ah! Refreshingly authentic. Come with me if you want to live. Side effects will include extreme joy or euphoria, enhanced learning, increased energy and motivation, and feelings of invincibility. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I gave you an extra one today. This is Jeremiah's J-Man Monero with J-Man Speaks, bringing you A-Team Friday. That's right, we got A-Team Friday here, Ask the Experts Anything Meaningful. And this Friday, we have a special guest, but every week we're trying to talk about something in-depth that you want to learn about. And there's, I feel like, nothing more important than what is a CRM, a Client Relationship Manager. And we have our special guest, uh, I'm just going to call her Eleni because I always mess up her last name and she doesn't need, she's like Cher or anybody else. You just, you know, it's Eleni from Wise Agent. So let's bring her up on the screen, folks. Let's see. Boom. There she is. Eleni, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me, everyone. <laughs> uh, for folks who don't know you, who maybe I've never been on the <clears throat> internet and seen any of the great content that you guys are putting out. Yeah. They're, they're in a cave with no Wi-Fi or anything whatsoever. Uh, a little bit about yourself and, and the company. Yeah, so my name is Eleni Summershields. I'm the chief operating officer here at Wise Agent. So yeah, that's a, but I do like how you said it's just Eleni, kind of like Cher or Madonna. I mean, that's- That's right, um, baby. <laughs> nice company to keep. Um, so yes, yeah, so, um, so Wise Agent is a CRM um, specifically f designed um, with, you know, the real estate professionals in mind. So we have specific content for realtors. Um, so you have, we have drip campaigns, monthly newsletters, a whole um, plethora of tools for marketing purposes. Um, after all, that's, you know, a lot of what you're, um, as realtors, you know, we want you guys building relationships, um, using our tool to be doing that. Um, having that contact management is super important so you can keep track of your notes, your contacts, um, and then using our marketing tools to help you convert them to clients, and then using our transaction management to go through that whole entire transaction process with, um, with them. So um, this is a great time if you're not using a CRM. Um, anytime is a great time to start, <laughs> right. but right now, you know, it's it really is with everything happening, you know, in the real estate industry and um, the market is just booming. It's pretty hot everywhere. Um, everywhere in this country, it's, it's a hot market. Yeah. So making sure that you're staying on top of things and you're not getting lost in the shuffle of what am I doing with who and what's this property? What's that, you know, just keeping everything organized. This is the time to start doing that. Yeah. I, I think so. If you're, if you're a brand new agent, or you're an agent that's been in the business for 30 years. I look at, I know agents that have been in the business 30 years, but it's one year, 30 times, right? They do the same year over and over again. They're like, at the beginning of the year, they're like, where are you going to get your business? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to show up, see what happens. <laughs> Hopefully I get right. lucky. You know, and <laughs> I, I think in a, in a hot market is where people really do forget, like to put people into campaigns and you may be working with buyers right now. I know many people that are working for buyers right now and it's a challenge. You're going to have buyers that are going to leave the market or take a break and you want to still stay in touch, stay top of mind. Cause if not, you're going to be sending them a postcard or something and then you're going to get a change of address. Back yeah. To yeah. And, and I mean, and right now I know everyone's like, I need, you know, everyone's looking for houses to sell. So yeah. this is the time where you use a CRM to say, Hey, you've been living in this house for 15, 20 years. Do you want to get some equity out of it? You want to sell? Um, this is a good time to do it. Um, going back and looking, I mean, if you if you have any historical data on people, you know, maybe um, on a spreadsheet or just you just recall that um, we do have in our CRM where you can have, you know, like home sale anniversary dates. Like that's really important to go back and say who, you know, and who has like multiple houses. Um, so then you can 
because a lot of times it's like, well, I want to sell because I want to get some equity out of this. And then where am I going to go? Because there's nowhere right. to buy, right? And so those are the people that you want to start targeting specifically right now because um, they have another property that maybe they could go live in. So you want to maybe, you know, try and get them to um, to sell one of their properties. So that would be something, you know, in a CRM and specifically in Wise Agent is really, um, really easy to do. And, um, and, and you should be doing that and it should be able to be done in any CRM, but um, we make it really easy for you to, to find all those things and find those people. Well, and it's, uh, no, we, it, it is the, the hottest topic right now. How do I get more listings? How do I get new listings? Where are mm -hmm. they? What can I do? And if you have clients, you know, I've worked with many clients over the years when I first started, uh, I did a lot with investment properties. So I know the clients that have one, two, three, five, ten properties. And right. depending where you are in the country, the rental laws, of, like New York State, our rental laws have changed dramatically. Um, and then with the moratorium on evictions and foreclosures, you know, mm -hmm. what clients do you know that may have, like you said, another property? And it's not going so great. I'm fortunate that I have rentals. All of my tenants have their jobs. They're paying rent. But right. had that not happened, you know, it went in a different direction. I'd have yeah. to sell. And but I'd right. be able to sell right now at an all time high. So yeah, reach, reaching out to those people is yeah, critical. And and I think that's a that's a really important thing is like being able to just know who your clientele is and reaching out to them and not just reaching out to them. Um, you know, when you're like, oh, now I need buyers or now I need sellers. <laughs> Keeping up. <laughs> I mean, right. you know, there's a Greek saying like, you don't start cooking when you're hungry. I mean, you have to plan this out, right? So oh, like you that. have to, um, you have to plan it out. So like be in, in communication with all of your clients or as many as you can, right? You know, um, cause there's going to be some people that are just, you know, that one-time deal and maybe you guys didn't get along. They were pain in the neck and it was like, just served its, they serve their purpose, right? And then you kind of move on from them. But rank them, categorize them, put, you know, put them in, in a place where you would be able to like weed those people out. Yeah. But then more specifically, keep the ones that you want to be in contact with, keep reaching out to them. Have them on a have them on a drip campaign. Um, send them postcards, send them emails. Emails still work. Um I I think email marketing is so important for everyone to be doing and you have to do it right. Um, and you have to keep, you have to, it's, it's, it is a little, um, you know, you have to try things and try different things, but you got to at least do it. If you're not doing it right now, you, you're missing out. You are yeah, missing out. hundred percent. And, and I think, look, if you feel like e your emails aren't getting through or, it, sometimes it's just a matter of staying top of mind. Oh, I saw J, you know, J man sent me an email for his client appreciation party. I deleted it, but I still saw it. Right. So that there's, there's that touch that, Oh, he's still thinking yeah. of us. Even if there's no conversation, that's still effective. And then every once in a while I'm, I'm like, I'm going to try something different with my email, right? I'm going to change the subject line. I'm going to change this. I'm going to add a video. I'm going to put the, the, the attorney with the cat that was just trending recently, the guy in the, <laughs> oh, the that, was so, that was so funny. Cause even like if, yeah. if I could just make somebody laugh and have a better day, then it's yeah. still a win, right? It's still a win. And, and, the, and phone calls are still really, um, phones are being answered. I mean, people answer their phones. So do that. It's really, especially, you know, with everything that's happened in the last year, I think, you know, yeah, those devices are also used for phone calls. I tell oh, my kids, oh, okay, I've, they never answer their phone. And yeah. so they're like, what, you know, and they answer, they don't say anything. They're just like, I just hear them breathing. I'm like, hello, when you answer it, you say something and that's how you talk. They don't even kids. They don't. They don't know how to do that. But there are people that answer their phone. Um, and with what's happened in the last year, um, reaching out to somebody, they might be all alone, and you might be the only person they talk to. I think yeah. it's it's it is that relationship building is so important. Reach out and just see how people are doing, and find out can you help in some way, shape, or form to brighten up their day. Um, and then they're gonna remember that. They will, because that's meaningful. So, you know, sometimes it's just about that human, that human touch, that human element of marketing still exists. 
Uh, I just want to point out that I, I reached in the cupboard, not to distract us from our conversation, and I grabbed this mug because it's like your guy's logo kind of, right? I know. It's, I know. it's an owl. I saw it earlier. I was like, oh, this is that. so cool. But then you can't see it. But when I sip, if I turn it this way, when I sip it, inside the mug, it says, be happy. Oh. So I'm like, oh, coffee. Of course I'm going to be happy. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you know, that's something that, I mean, if, if you're doing things right in your business, you will be happy because you will, your business will, um, you know, multiply from, you know, spreading. Ooh. Oh, are we showing screens? I can, I can show oh, stuff too. Yeah. Let's, Let's hop over there, but I want to. No, that was weird how I lost your audio when I when I clicked over there. But oh, let's, did, try, okay. let's try it again. So what we're gonna do now, um, because I know seeing is believing. So like, rather than us talk about it, you can see it. Maybe Eleni can go through like, okay, when I meet somebody brand new, what do I do? And then also when I have uh, a transaction, what do I do with that? Because yeah. many of you are out there just, you, hey, you're closers, you're closing deals. But then that's it. You're not you're not doing the follow up. And that's that's what it's all about, that relationship building. So let's go to the shared screen. We're in the circle. Can you talk? No, let me see what I can do here. Oh, you're muted. OK, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Boop. There you go. OK, there we go. All right. Now you can hear me. You can see my screen. Perfect. And you're like a cute okay. little circle. I, I, I like this. I like this setup. OK. Um, so this is Wise Asian. If you guys haven't seen it before, this is um, our, you know, when you when you first log in, you see your dashboard, your commission report, um, your calendar. It's really important to see everything. And um, Wise Agent is very team friendly. So if you have an admin or a transaction coordinator, you could have also their events and their tasks um, in here. So then you can see what everyone is working on um, when people are available. I know for me, that's huge. I, I always want to know, like, what's the rest of my team doing? Who, who do I have available to me? Right. That's really important to know who's available to you Live and, and to your, your calendar. What, and so yeah. how is it integrated? Does it integrate with like, I use Google calendar religiously. Do I just, yeah. it then just syncs with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah so it syncs over to your Google calendar and then it'll sync to your phone, you know, iPhones, Android phones, doesn't matter. It'll sync to your phone and then you can see everything that's happening. So super important to be able to have, all of that with you. And then we do have a mobile um, app that you can log into and see your calendar as well from your device. This is nice. Um, yeah. Especially with team members, when you talk want, want to talk about efficiency, you don't have to have multiple emails or phone calls saying, when are you guys available? You yeah. know when each other is available, you schedule a meeting, it's confirmed right. without talking to each other, and then you can get stuff done. Exactly, exactly. And you can, um, and you can sync multiple calendars. So here I have, um, you know, so it's, Let's say for this account, for this purpose, I'll be Rachel Green. Um, and you can be, do you want to be Ross or Chandler? Do you want to be? You... Ross is way cooler, no? No, Chandler's cooler. Wait. Chandler's cooler. I think Chandler's really cool. Well, neither cool. one's really cool. But we, we... Uh, Joey, Chandler... where's Joey? Where's Joey? I know, Joey didn't, he didn't make the cut. Yeah. So he didn't make the cut. So it's five team members. But so if I'm Rachel, I'm the account owner um, or the team lead here, then I can, you know, I can sync this to, you know, my device and I can sync this to my Google account, but then Monica can sync her calendar to hers. Um, so if she goes in there and she puts her nail appointment, you know, in there at three o'clock, then I know, and I need someone for a three o'clock showing, I can see, you know, that she's not available. So it, that's really nice to be able to see that without having to make you know, 10 different phone calls and text messages, like who, and then waiting for the response, right? That's always the killer, at least for me, is like waiting for people to respond. Right. So, Why so have you responded <laughs> yet? Oh, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then the important date. So we were talking about this a little bit earlier. It was like, what, you know, whose home sale anniversary is coming up. So I can see, you know, I sold Gretchen a home, you know, on the 28th. So now I can send her a postcard. I can click on her name. It'll take me to her, you know, contact record. And, you know, I can, you know, call her or whatever, um, send her a, a, a CMA, um, kind of remind her of what the value of her property is. And I'll show that in a minute and how that's done. Um, I can see my transactions that I'm working on. These are like transactions that I'm actively working on. And um, I can click on these, go through and look at my tasks. But I can see, you know, these are all the transactions that need my attention. So are they um, these, and are these ones are, that are in contract or? 
Like, so you can make it however you however want. You so it can be in contract or they can be, you know, like these are the buyers that I'm working with maybe. And so when I have, you know, I have buyer's agreement with them and I can add notes to these transactions. I can add them, you know, to the specific transaction or I can add them to the specific contact and say, I took them to this property, this property and this property. Because after, you know, like you take people to maybe like 15, 20 properties then you start asking yourself and people blend in with people like, did I take them to see one? Three Main Street was that was that this guy or was that somebody else you know and you can't remember who you took to that house there's right. nothing more embarrassing than saying like hey let's go see that house and they're like I already saw it with you three days ago and I told yeah, you I didn't like right. it so you know keeping track of all of that well and you know just a I don't call it a fun fact but there, there's legislation in the pipeline that may require people to um, what's the word I'm looking for keep track of all the properties that are shown to every single buyer for fair housing. Uh, yeah. reasons, you know, just to, if something comes up, you could say, I showed him this house, this house, this house in this neighborhood at this time. So that, you know, um, so you have a log. So this would be a great way to do that. But you, you would come in and just in the buyer, you'd say, just show these houses kind of like a, a list. Yeah. Right? So I, okay. let me show you how that's done. I'm going to go to my contact here, Michael Phelps. Oh. Michael must have a house with a pool. He does. Oh, I have to find it. Okay, because I'm only sharing one tab, but apparently. So hold on. While, while you're doing that, let me just comment. When you look at the, the business side of this and the business plan, we always talk about, you know, treating your business like a business, making sure like, hey, if I want to make six figures this year, I have to know what that means. Not just how much do I sell, how much do I yeah. keep, so you can track your gross mm -hmm. commission income, what your split is with your company, what your expenses are per transaction. And then you could say, look it, in my pipeline, this is what I got and this is what I have to get. It, it really, you really do start to think like a business owner at that point, rather than just a salesperson with a job who's just working commission to commission. Right. And I mean, in all of that, all your expenses, your commissions, everything, your goals are all um, in here. So you have your commission report, your goal tracker. Um, it's all within your CRM. So you can really get a good understanding of what your business is doing. Um, Cause it, you do have to run, um, everything yourself as a business, right? right and right. your um, the product that you're marketing is you, you know, not the houses, right? That you're selling. That's just kind of like a, you know, kind of like a byproduct of it. But you're marketing you um, as a realtor. What value do you have to bring to the table to you know your buyers, your sellers to help them go through that transaction? So um, you're the you should be the local expert. You should be the expert in your you know, whatever it is in your expertise, maybe you are super hyper local in one specific area. So then embrace that and like lean into it, but whatever it is, lean into it and show and prove that you, you are the expert that will, you know, um, help with your trust and with your, um, you know, your audience. And they're going to, they're going to come seek you out because you are that expert. Excellent. So, yeah. Yeah. So you're in here and you're looking at your contacts. So you can come in here. We've, you know, if you guys have seen Wise Agent, you know, a few years ago and, um, you know, and you, you didn't really commit to it because you weren't ready to commit to CRM, we've made some updates, things to make it really streamlined. And, um, you know, one of the things is you can see whatever it is that's really important to you. So maybe you need to see, you know, addresses in the checklist, who they're, who's in their family, um, their important dates. What else do we have here? I like seeing um, texts let's, as well. Let's look at, we're still in Michael's, right? So let's look at all the details yeah. that you can put in there because, yeah. so, you know, we, I mean, we work with people on an everyday basis sometimes. And of course we know everything about them. We know their favorite food, everything. Cause you see them almost every day to look at houses, but a year from now, two years from now, it's important to write down all those details. You know, that yeah. they love swimming obviously, but it has three dogs, likes gardening. You know, when you're thinking about gifts or anniversary things to get them, like all of that, really makes yeah. a difference, especially if, and if they have kids and their kids' names and the kids' ages, all of that stuff. So important. All of that. I mean, it's, it's so important. So you have, we have a place. So, you know, you can, you know, send a postcard or send a, a, an email or make a phone call or deliver balloons or a puzzle or whatever it is and say, Hey, it's your kid's birthday, you know, and celebrate it and, and you know, embrace that and make yourself part of that. 
Um, and then you can see, you know, maybe some other friends or relatives, you know, who else are they associated with important people in their lives that maybe you're going to ask about or they're going to talk about. So then, you know, you know, like for Michael Phelps, obviously he's a swimmer. So his coach, I don't know if that's his real name or her yeah. name, but, um, you know, those are things that you really should be um you know, when you're involved in someone's life, you know these things. And so keeping track of it, just so you recall it. Um, and then important dates, you know, these are, um, you know, their wedding anniversary, their um, birth date, their when you met them, um, when they purchased a home and whatever they did. And so it's really easy to do all of that, just add it in here. So I can come in here and say, you know, summer home, you know, and I can put in the date that he purchased it. And you know, now include that in here. And so now here's, you know, their summer home that they purchased. So, and then the text messages I can see, cause I can text immediately, you know, just directly from here. So, you know, I can, you know, just say hi and then they, all their replies and um, you know, whatever it is, I can keep track of all of that in here. You just said yeah. sup, so. Uh, <laughs> um, so that's a really, um, and then I can, with a click of a button, I can come in here and just send an email. Um, and you know, write out my message. I can use our content here. Yeah. Can you can you see the modal that popped up? Yeah. It says email okay. templates and letters. Yeah, that okay. So you can store, so this is like the letter library that you can create. These are this is um, you know, a library of things that you can um, you know, um you can just create yourself. Or um if you want to um use something that we've created. Here's our content button. These are templates that we have done. So you can come in here and, you know, if you want to send something, um, an introduction, infographics, we have all sorts of things that you can do Christmas, you know, all the holidays and everything else. So nice. if you want to send a specific thing, um, you know, we probably have it. You can go through and like, a, you know, and, and send out whatever it is. So I can send a happy anniversary. And this goes out all branded with your brokerage, your, you know, image and your whatever in here, your social icons. Well, and one of the things that we're working on is uh, I have a bunch of exclusive resources myself mm -hmm. that we have in our product, uh, Serbot a lot, the, the messenger bot marketing system. Uh, it's over, you know, 30 to 50 research. I've lost count of how many we have. We've downloaded them from our bot, and then we're going to be putting them in Wise Agent for you to use if yeah. you go through my link to sign up for Wise Agent. That's one of the reasons why you should, um, not just because you want to. Okay. Yeah. And you should. I mean, and so we have, you know, our marketing campaigns, so you can have. Um, you know, campaign, video campaigns, video does really well. So embrace that. I know it can be nerve wracking, but um, just try it. The first one's always going to probably be not so I'm, great. I'm trying to come out of my shell a bit with the video. I know. You're, you're very shy on camera. It's, very it's shy. Really so with, with the video, when you're looking at this, um, you can just, I think we, we had showed this before, but you can embed a YouTube link, right? Or, or I saw yeah. a bomb bomb link up in the other screen there. You... Yeah, so you can include, um, you can include, this one already has it, so let me remove it. So I can um, include um, an image from Wise Agent or a video from here or BombBomb bomb, um, video. So that's how that works. So, so if you I can... have a, a video in Wise Agent, is it stored on, it's stored on your server? Like I would record it yeah. in Wise Agent natively and then upload it? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And so, um, so that's a really, um, you know, everyone should be using that. And that was, you know, through text message, but then through email, um, you can do um, a YouTube link. So you can just take the YouTube URL and put, you know, plug it in right here. Um, you can have an image. Um, you can you can do all sorts of things in here. And then again, we have our templates in here as well for you to use. So if you want to use any of our um, templates or anything else, then you can do that as well. So nice. And so yep. let me just give you guys another plug because you're going to have to go soon. But, um, you know, you do the free trial. If, if you're going to do the free trial, do it. Like export wherever your, your, your database is, a CSV file, import it in, and then just start playing with it. But if you get stuck at any point, you guys have so many training videos and webinars that you've done on just breaking down the, to its simplest form. Like here's how you do one thing right? Micro learning, we call that micro education, where it's one thing in greater detail, you help to kind of grasp it in five or 10 minute chunks. Uh, it's just, right. 
so easy, so easy. But let's let's talk about your collaborations before before you go. Yeah, really for cool. sure. And so we have. Um, let me go to our partners page here. Um, so we have a ton of partners. I think we're integrated with over a hundred um, different technologies. So we are deeply integrated with Google. So we have a Chrome extension for you to easily add um, a contact from your email. Um, we are integrated with Gmail. So if you can connect that and you can you know, see all of your email conversations um, that you sent out through your own email account, Facebook, we have that. So your Facebook ads, you can post to Facebook, do all sorts of things. Um, and then just all these other partners that we have, um, you know, everyone from, um, you know, Cloud CMA, which you can send an automated CMA out to any lead that comes in and bomb bomb, which is great. Um, and some dialers, um, you know, so zip form plus we have dot loop, you name it. We're just, we just pretty really much have it. Great stuff. And we would, we, I just did a live stream with somebody else about cloud cloud CMA because part of the conversations you could be having with your clients is, do you really know what your home is worth in today's market? Like the market yeah. is so on fire. We're seeing appreciation like we've never seen. I'd be happy to give you, I like to call it a, a home equity estimate, um, mm -hmm. you know, what it's worth. Not because if you want to sell, fine, but maybe you want to do a cash out refi and put, we, we're all realized how much we don't like our homes because we spent a whole year in them, right? <laughs> but you want to do a cash out refi and, and, and do an addition off the back or finish the basement or add that office or do whatever you want. Right. Cloud CMA would be a great tool for it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, exactly. There's so many different, um, you know, tools that you can be using in conjunction. And that's the reason why we have so many um, integrated partners is because they do what they do really well. Um, and but it needs to be embedded within your CRM because the CRM should be the place that you log into every single day. Um, you know, whatever browser you're using, I, I happen to love Chrome, um, you know, set your browser up. So when you open it up in the morning, first thing when you start working, that it is, um, you know, it opens up your email and whatever else, but it also opens up your CRM. So, you know, you can make it where it will. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Was that a question that's coming in? Um, but yeah, so um, he, um, you can make it where it just comes up automatically and logs you into your, your account. So then you're just in there every single day working it um, and working your, your business. So let me just uh, address Teresa Scott Tibbs. Thanks for asking a question. It's not easy. Everybody likes to listen and nobody likes to ask the, the, the difficult question. So estimated cost, it's $29 a month, right? 29 even per month. Uh, that's an already yeah. discounted price. What they keep doing is adding value and value and value so that you're getting more for your money. Um, what yeah. I can promise you is that you will make more than $29 per month uh, by, by using the CRM. And if you use the link that's in the description, I put it in there to, for your free trial, you'll get two weeks. But I said, there are exclusive resources. Many people say that, but I'm being honest about it, right? There's a lot of exclusive resources that we're going to put in there for you. There are. And then besides the 14 day free trial um, and the exclusive resources, which is, you know, way above the, you know, $29 monthly value, um, you get a one-on-one -on -one getting started session. So you can sign up and you'll get a text, you'll get an email, you'll get a phone call from one of our staff here trying to help you get everything started. So they'll help you get your profile set up, your email branding set up so your email signature is done. And then most importantly, getting all your contacts in. So if you've got all your contacts in you know, a spreadsheet or in your Google account, we'll help you get all that started. So then immediately, right away, you can get started. It's really important to just start playing around with it, start using it. Um, and then they'll walk you through the whole entire training of everything. So the, we have a ton of training. Um, this um, page right now is our goal tracker. Um, if you go to our, um, our help page, you can see our knowledge base. We have a ton of video tutorials um, that will help you um, learn the system. If that's, you're like, I just want to see a video. I don't want to I don't want to talk to anybody. Talk to that's cool. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> yeah. I know. That's me. You know, I like learning on my own. I don't like learning with somebody else. And that's fine. We've got that for you. If you're like, I need someone to walk me through every step of the way, we have that too. So, um, you know, if you like just reading about it, we got you covered. So um, we know that there's different styles of learning um, for everybody and we've got all of them covered. So um, we also have phone support and email support and it's 24 seven. So our support is, um, you know, 
365 24-7, which is right here um, in the United States of America, folks, based out of Arizona. So, um, and again, thank you, uh, Eleni, because it's 830 where she is. She's doing this. She, she, you know, it's nice enough to hop on with me. I'm like, usually we do this at nine and she's like, Jay, can we maybe push it back a little bit? You know, so that's why we did it at 10 today. So I, I, I really appreciate it. Um, um we had some comments you. from Teresa. She said, I'm dropping my CRM today. Uh, and then she said, <laughs> talk a little bit more about integrating uh, videos into the platform. Could you just maybe do one one thing and then we'll we'll let you go? What time is your next? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm good for another like 15, 20 minutes. So oh, I'm okay, good. Okay. I, I don't uh, mind talking. I don't mind staying on and talking. I, okay, I, got I, I, I hate to keep people on if they have a drop dead time. No, okay. I'm good. All right. I'll tell you. you are. Um, and, um, yeah. So um, you were saying about videos. So I think it's so important. You know, we talked a little bit about emails and, and text messaging, um, sending out your emails, doing whatever it is that you need to do. I mean, we, I think you should all be sending out a monthly newsletter. Um, we have newsletters that we write exclusively for you um, and they just come in. They just you do have to save them, edit them, whatever it is. So this one's February. I think we're going into March though, but um, you know, it'll go in with your branding and everything else. And you can edit this the way you see fit. You, you want to change something out. You go ahead. If you know, you don't want to talk about surprising facts about love, then go ahead and change this out and put in your own article in there. Right. And so um, you want to add more content to this. I think it's really important to be, you know, you can embed a video in here. Um, you could also um, pull an article from um, Keeping Current Matters or any other blog that you subscribe to. That is such a great way to share content with people that's not always real estate related, but um, maybe support some of their interests. So we have a really way, easy way of doing that. So if you you know subscribe to Current Keeping Current Matters, the click of a button, it'll be added into your email here, and it can go into your newsletter. It'll um, come up with an image and everything else and um let's yeah. let's show her uh or, or them mm -hmm. can you do you have a youtube link or you want me to send you a youtube link yeah. really fast just to yeah. it's it's nice how easy that really does embed in there without any other programs you have to get the 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 html code and then copy and paste it it requires a little bit of tech savviness yeah so let me grab um hmm. Let me grab a video. Right. And while she's doing that, I, if you're not using Bomb Bomb, um, <laughs> oh, that means she went on YouTube. <laughs> That's why I didn't. I was gonna go on YouTube, but I knew that my my landing. Oh, okay. Video I was, I in here. I was listening yeah. to David Guetta earlier, so there you go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um. So yeah, it's just really that simple. So you just click this. Um. You enter. You. Copy and paste in the um, paste in the URL, and then it will just um, you know put this in here for you. So it'll put in the um, the title, of course, the main image with the the little play button, and then you can you know it'll have whatever they have in here. So this is um, if oh, so that to, that comes yeah. in from the description of the video. It comes in from the description of the video. Oh, that's yeah. Really so nice everything too. is pulled over. So you don't have to re you know do everything else. You don't have to copy and paste a bunch of things. It's just one link that you copy and you just throw throw it in there and that's about it. And it does everything for you. We do the rest for you. That's nice. Yeah. And then you can also add a landing page in here. I know we didn't really talk about our landing pages, oh, but yeah, okay. um, let's let's do that too because this is so important. You know, if you guys are not running like um, maybe you're not running any ads right now on social media or, you know, like on Google, Google ads, or you're not running Facebook ads, you can, um, you know, cause you're not sure how to do it and you're not sure about the spend and everything else. Um, you can, you can advertise yourself, uh, on any platform, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Um, and just using our landing pages. So I can, um, have a, let's see, which one do I want to do? Well, Let's just do this multi-property page. And so I can preview this. I can just create this really quickly and I can add in here all the images of the properties that I am selling and have, you know, and when you create these landing pages, we give you the dimensions of what this image should be. And you can yeah. change all this out. You can't, you can't see that. Oh, you can't see it. Probably because oh. it's on another Chrome tab, maybe. Yeah, probably. So hold on, let me look here. Okay, okay. there we go. So there you go. So um, you can have 
Um, so we'll tell you, you know, what the dimensions are. You could link this to another landing page or to whatever um, you want. You can embed a YouTube video in here as well. Um, and then, of course, the most important thing on a landing page is the form. So once you have the form, then what you do, once you have this landing page looking the way that you want it to look, um, you have your share links here and you can, um, you know, use this URL to um, maybe add it to an email or you can send a short URL and a text message. But then we also have this Facebook option where, I don't know, do I want to, are you seeing the Facebook pop up? No. I don't know what you're seeing. Okay. I'm, we're still on the landing page. Uh, okay. Yeah. So when once you click on this Facebook tab, it'll pop up, you know, having you log into your Facebook account. And then basically it'll just, you can set it up where it'll just go either to your story, to a page that you're, that you manage or whatever else. And then we also have an embed code if you want to put this in, in your, um, in your website. So I mean, that's, that's, not powerful. that's powerful stuff because, you know, most CRMs are just designed for follow-up. This is lead generation, folks. If you're watching this, like you can have these landing pages in multiple places. They're exactly that. They're lead. They capture information, and in, in in a market where people are really looking for listings, if you have a really nice listing, why wouldn't you have a landing page with all the information with a call to action for you know bringing people into your CRM? Right. And you can so even have it where you can ha create lead magnets. So I can just say, I'm just going to preview this one. So I can just have, you know, post this landing page on tips for, oh, you can't see this, can you? Hold on. <laughs> um, so tips for relocating, right? And so I can post this on, you know, a group called, you know, I live in Fountain Hills, Arizona, you know, Fountain Hills, um, you know, home search or whatever it is, the group is called. And then anytime that someone fills out that form, I can set it up to have some rules where it will be. So let's say that's my, my ad that I'm, I'm posting on Facebook. I can set it up where it'll um, be, they'll be added to a drip campaign, that video drip campaign that I had created. I could automatically tag them with like my monthly newsletter um, and maybe seller or whatever buyer, whatever the um, the landing page is about. Um, but the newsletter tagging is nice because then it will just add them to the group. So then and every month, if I'm sending out my newsletter in like the fifth of the month or something or the first of the month, they get added to that group. So then I can send it to them automatically. They'll also get in um, and you can choose either an email response or a text response. You know, I always say text awesome. has like 100 percent open rate, but email has good open rates as well. So you can send an automated email saying like, hey, got your, um, you know, your your inquiry, blah, blah, blah. And you can talk to whatever it is. But if it's this lead magnet, then you're you can just use one of our contents. So you can use our infographic here. And I think it was this. And so now you're going to send them what those, you know, whatever it was, five tips it was to relocating. So good. So now they're, they're like looking at your landing page saying, Hey, this is a guide for relocating. And I, I really am interested in that because I'm going through a relocation process right now. They fill out the form, you get them as a lead. They get that, you know, expertise advice from you in an email. Um, and then you can get notified of the lead and everything else. But what's happened now is that you've exchanged your content for their um, information. contact information. Right. And now you follow up with them, you call them, you, you know, build that relationship and start building on that. Wow. Yeah, and this is so good. All the content that's in there, especially when you look at the graphics and that, like if you work for a smaller company or maybe you're a smaller broker owner, you don't have to outsource the graphic design or the marketing. It's already done for you. Right. If you yeah. have a, a brokerage of five to 10 agents, you get a team account here, man, think of this. This is so powerful. This is really great stuff. It is really powerful. Um, and like I said, we are adding all the time. We add content to our CRM every single week. So, you know, come back to it and, you know, keep looking for things. Ask us for it, too. So we do take suggestions. So, if, um, you know, a few weeks ago, I was um, I do host a web weekly webinar and someone had asked, hey, do you guys have a, um, an, a, a landing page for opting into my um, newsletter? Like who wants to get my monthly newsletter? I want to put this out on like Facebook or whatever. So we made it that we made a template for that landing page. So 
Um, if you have something like that, go ahead and ask us for it. And we'll most, most of the time we, we oblige by it. Maybe something in, re in regards to messenger bot marketing is coming soon. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> wink, wink. Yeah. All right. So folks, again, thanks for tuning in. Eleni, thank you so much for your, for your time and expertise. It's always a pleasure. Uh, cause you really know it inside out. And I think we've really demonstrated to folks like look, $29 a month. If you cannot afford $1 per day, you yeah. need to just retire and go work for somebody, uh, you know, hourly or for a salary, because this is something that is, I would say you probably get a thousand, 2000, 5,000% return on your investment. If you sell yeah. one, one more house this year, I mean, what is that going to be for you? Uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's a no brainer. So thank you again. We're going to give you a round of applause. <laughs> I'm going to come back over here. Hold on. Come back to the main screen. All right. And then because you brought up the music, we got to give you the DJ air horn. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So thanks, folks. Thank, thank you, Eleni, for coming on. Thank you for tuning in, whether you're watching live or on the replay. Uh, be sure to tune in next week. Ask the experts anything meaningful Friday. A team Friday. We should play the, the theme song before we go. Here it is. Yeah. I'll probably get copyright for this, but it's okay. Dun, dun, dun.